Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a very interesting and semi-rare round. This is a Polish uh, round for a VZ-35 anti-tank rifle. And for comparison, we have a regular 7.92 or 8mm Mauser round, which was just a standard round that was used at the time by the Germans and the Poles to a limited extent. Uh, so this round was actually made for an anti-tank rifle that was based on the Mauser action and was pretty innovative for its time. The uh, projectile was just a standard 8mm projectile. It was not particularly armor piercing. It actually had a fairly standard lead interior, unlike the steel that you'd see in the armor piercing rounds of other anti-tank rifles. And the way this one worked is it would actually hit the armor and then mushroom and splat. And the kinetic energy that it was launched at would then cause the armor inside the tank, hopefully, to break into about a 20 millimeter wide fragment that would fly off the inside. So it would cause spalling on the inside of the uh, tank. And that would actually ricochet around and hopefully disable the crew, kill them, hurt them, do whatever. This was actually a fairly uh, effective anti-tank rifle at the beginning of World War II. There is record of the Poles using it to good effect against the early uh, Panzer tanks that the Germans invaded Poland with. Obviously, it did not exactly turn the tide of the war. The Germans captured a whole bunch, and they used it, actually, for a while while anti-tank rifles were still sort of popular. The Finns acquired some at some point. They found them not really worth using because they got there after the 1939-1940 Winter War. They were used in the Continuation War, pretty poor results, and got uh, relegated to training pretty quickly. The uh, Germans, as I said, captured some and used some for a while. The Soviets took some when they invaded Poland at the beginning of World War II as uh, just examples to then kind of make their own PTRS and PTRD rifle, which were in 14.5 uh, millimeter, I believe. So they definitely scaled it up and made a more powerful cartridge. Um, the Hungarians used some and so did the Italians. And the Italians actually seem to have been stuck with it or liked it more, more often stuck with it uh, until the end of their involvement in World War II. So in 1943, they continued to use it up until then. And when Italy surrendered, the Germans actually acquired some that had been captured from Poland and then they re reacquired them and used them for unknown purposes because at that time, they were pretty ineffective against anything. But this is a pretty rarely seen cartridge, and this is an original uh, Polish example. We'll take a look at the head stamp here. As you can see, that is a 1938 Polish head stamp. You've got the Polish Eagle, the year of manufacture. I believe that is a lot number. And this is a live example of a 792 VZ35 round. Uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing just sort of a an unusual round. I know a lot of people do videos on the weapons, but I would like to focus on the actual cartridge because that is another aspect of them. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and we'll be doing more videos. Thank you very much for watching.